Hello everyone. Today we are going to start Grade Three Science: The World of Birds, Part One. So let's see what topics we are going to cover in this. We will cover features of the bird's body, process of flying, types of feathers, types of beaks, feet and claws, and nesting habits of birds so let's get started first of all children let's try to identify the birds shown in the picture here are some birds that you see around you you always wake up with the chirping of the birds right so this is parrot pigeon manna sparrow crow eagle duck and peacock children you always see the birds flying in the sky you also want to fly like them birds are unique because they can fly so today we are going to understand about birds how they fly what helps the birds to fly apart from the wings that they have so apart from the wings what are the features they have in their body that help them to fly that we are going to see let's see the features of the birds body the birds have a light body with hollow and thin bones birds body is very light they have hollow and thin bones that means they are weightless the body of a bird is boat shaped with a pointed beak and a tail so that tail helps in changing the direction with the help of wings and tail they fly and because of their body shape their body is boat shaped they can fly easily have you ever seen the aeroplane the aeroplane is also a boat shaped so the four limbs are modified into wings children you have seen animals they have four legs right so here bird has two leg and two are converted into wings the whole body of a bird is covered with feathers so feathers are very light and its whole body is covered with feathers so these are some reasons because of that a bird can fly here you can see in the picture some body parts of the bird so bird's whole body is divided into three parts head tail and body okay now here we have head these are wings this is tail then feathers leg beak and eyes so these are some features in the bird's body and these are the body parts we will see different types of birds in this session till now we have understood why birds fly because of their body shape because of their features in the body now let's understand how birds fly process of flying so when bird has to fly it flap its wings very fast as you can see in this picture the air under the wings lifts it upward and forward the upward movement of a bird's flight is called upstroke as you can see in the picture the bird is taking upstroke the downward movement of a bird's flight is called downstroke and when the bird has to land its it spreads its wings and move downward so you can see in the picture upstroke downstroke and whenever bird want to land they will spread their wings and move downward now depending on their ability to fly birds are of different classes let's see 
birds that fly at low height birds like sparrows and parrots they fly at low height birds that fly high in the sky these birds are eagles and vultures these words are also called bird of prey because they prey other small birds and animals now there are some birds which are called flight led less birds now why they are called flightless birds because they cannot fly birds like penguins kiwis emus and ostriches these birds cannot fly but they can run very fast why these birds cannot fly what are the features that they don't have we will discuss about it in our next class till then thank you so much for watching for more such videos please subscribe to my channel stay tuned